everyone welcome to gemchem so today's video is on inorganic polymers part 4 video and here we are going to deal with silicone fluids or oils now before starting already three videos are uploaded in channel you can watch it i will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video and if you are new to gemchem do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates now let us start now we have in the last videos classified silicones into different categories and one of the categories was silicon fluids or oils so what is this a silicon fluid is a mixture of equal proportion of linear and cyclic polymers and we have already seen the preparation of linear and cyclic polymers you can watch it next part is that these have low temperature coefficient of viscosity now what is coefficient of viscosity it is related to viscosity right and we have already seen the term of coefficient of viscosity in the liquid state video so if you have not watched it you can watch it i will give the link in the description box as well as i button present above this video so since it has low temperature coefficient of viscosity this property makes it extremely valuable hydraulic fluid okay and it has a good insulating property and high thermal stability it is due to these two properties that they are used extensively in industry as dielectric fluids right now emulsions of silicon fluids here we should use a e so this one is emulsion of silicon fluids are made for convenience in applying small amounts to the silicon textiles paper or other surface now highly stable and being non volatile also serves as good industrial solvent so this is important since this is a liquid so it can be easily used as a solvent used in high thermal baths and high vacuum pumps etc variation in chain length give silicon oils with varying viscosity so if you vary the chain length then the silicon oils will have different viscosity viscosity of silicon oils remain almost constant for good range of temperature that is they do not thicken at cold temperature and it is very important right now actually low molecular weight silicones are liquid and these are actually silicon fluids or oils now we have to see the preparation so preparation is not easy in this case if we see the preparation of normal silicones then it is difficult to limit the process that is even if we take alkyl silicones as limiting reactants it would be extremely difficult to stop silicones at low molecular weight level so in order to prepare these low molecular weight silicone we need to have number of silicon atoms incorporated in a cyclic silicon polymers and then siloxan dimer is taken suppose let us do one preparation suppose if we start with preparing for attempted synthesis of six silicon containing fluid okay if we want to prepare a six silicon containing fluid what will be the starting material the starting material should be a silicon cyclic tetramer plus another thing which is a siloxan dimer and these are important so these are the starting materials so four silicon comes from here and two silicon comes from here right now we will see the preparation so here what happens let us draw the siloxan here is our siloxan containing ch3 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 and here also ch3 ch3 and ch3 and we have our tetramer which looks like this that silicon here oxygen here 
oxygen here again silicon here another oxygen here another silicon here here another oxygen and here silicon and oxygen each silicon contains 2 CH3 like this now what happens when we take these two together then one of the silicon oxygen bond breaks here and oxygen gets a hydrogen and silicon gets the OH similarly here one of the silicon oxygen bond breaks and this oxygen gets a hydrogen and this oxygen gets a OH in presence of acid that is we will use here concentrated H2SO4 for the further reaction here concentrated H2SO4 acts as a catalyst and involves in bond breaking and bond making so ultimately what happens see here we get Si O then Si O then Si O then Si here OH here OH right and this one is CH3 another CH3 here also 2 CH3 here also 2 CH3 and here also 2 CH3 so here the tetramer has already broken and we are left with these two that is here OH of the siloxin right here are the CH3s and here also OH here and here 3 CH3s right this is the intermediate now on further reaction this will join together to give us a six membered silicon fluid so here oxygen silicon oxygen silicon oxygen silicon here already four oxygen silicon one two three four five six silicon here will be two last one will have three CH3 coming from these three CH3s similarly this will have also three CH3 and the middle ones will have two CH3s one two one two one two one two, one, two. so this is how we can prepare six membered silicone fluid if we try to prepare a five membered if we try to prepare a five membered then in that case we require a silicone trimer and a siloxin dimer so in this case we will take a silicone trimer just we have taken previously plus a siloxin dimer Now the success of ring opening is very sensitive in nature and depends on the nature of the alkyl group. The reaction occurs readily when it is methyl group but with larger alkyl or aryl group several side products are seen. So if we try to now synthesize 8 silicon containing silicone oil, 8 silicon containing silicone oil then there are two methods to do it in first method we take trimer initially which is allowed to react with concentrated H2SO4 and then to it added dimeric siloxin so first trimer taken reacted with concentrated H2SO4 then this trimer is further reacted with a dimeric siloxin This is the first step. So let us see. Here is our trimer silicon having 2 CH3. Here oxygen, here silicon, oxygen, silicon, and each silicon has 2 CH3. We take 2 trimers okay and then react it with concentrated H2SO4 what happens 
again we know that oxygen will get a hydrogen and silicon will get a OH so this comes that is silicon oxygen silicon oxygen silicon oxygen silicon oxygen yes silicon with an oxygen so there must be six silicons one two three four five six so here will be another silicon right and each silicon will have two CH3s and the last one will have an OH so here two CH3 this one will have an OH here also two CH3 2 CH3, 2 CH3 and 2 CH3. So right now we have a 6 membered linear polymer. Now we charge this reaction, charge this reaction with siloxane, charged with siloxane. Right, when we charge this reaction with siloxane, we obtain our desired product containing 8 silicon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the last one contains 3 CH3 here also 3 CH3, 3 CH3 coming from the siloxane, right? And each of the silicones contains 2 CH3s, 2 CH3s. So this is important. This is how you can synthesize different silicone oils. And this comes in exam. Next is another method where a silicone tetramer is initially taken and treated with concentrated H2SO4 in presence of stoichiometric amount of SiCH3 whole 2 OH whole 2. Then the tetramer linearizes and forms a four membered straight chain which interacts with this that is SiCH3 whole 2 OH whole 2 to form six membered ring. When this intermediate is formed reaction vessel is charged with siloxane dimer. This breaks up to give trimethylsilanol which blocks the OH group at the end to form a final product that is if we take this one that is a tetramer is taken and to it added concentrated H2SO4 right and then this is reacted with further reaction with using SI CH3 whole 2 OH OH right then if we use this in two ratios then silicon comes from here and two silicon comes from here and we get ultimately a six membered thing then we do what then we just charge the reaction vessel with siloxane and when we add siloxane then this group si o ch3 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 gets attached to the both sides of the six membered ring so ultimately we can obtain a eight membered ring so this is the second method of preparation of eight membered silicone oils and this is important now we will deal with the uses of silicone oils. It can be used as a lubricant in industry, spacecrafts, high speed transport vessels and these compounds have anti-foam properties. So used in dye washing. Since physiologically inert, used to prevent frothing in domestic oils during cooking. And it is also useful in cosmetic industry. It is used in lipsticks. Okay and used as an excellent dielectric material while we were doing the introduction part we have already seen it is used as dielectric fluid hope this was helpful this much for today thank you for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and comment